Hello and welcome to All About Circuit Spotlight. Before we plug into the exciting world of electrical engineering, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you stay connected to essential circuit breaking news. Now, let's check what's under the spotlight. Does your temperature rise with the summer cooling bill? Well, just imagine footing a data center's cooling bill where an estimated 40% of the energy consumption is currently dedicated to thermal management. To chill data centers out, the US Department of Energy established the Cooler Chips Program and has allocated $40 million in funding 15 groups working on innovative data center cooling solutions. Discover the breakthrough designs that Intel and NVIDIA are crafting to freeze out the competition on our website. And in other chip news, get ready to turbocharge your Wi-Fi connection because Broadcom is currently testing three distinct Wi-Fi 7 chips in routers, gateways, and client devices. These cutting edge Wi-Fi 7 chips promise significant improvements in speed, capacity, and efficiency to propel the world into hyperconnectivity. And as we advance to a more interconnected world, we still find things go missing. For example, do you know where your Ely Pika is? Well, if she's tagged, Qualcomm's got you covered. That's because Qualcomm launched new satellite modems for remote IoT asset tracking, catering to non-terrestrial network applications. The 212S modem suits off-grid stationary IoT applications with LTE connectivity while the 9205S modem enables dual connectivity to satellite and cellular networks. Ideal for asset tracking shipping containers, fleet management, and delinquent Illy Picas. And that's a wrap for this edition of AAC Spotlight. Don't forget to visit allaboutcircuits.com for all these stories in depth. And since it's the 4th of July here in the States, I'll leave you with a reminder from US statesman and discoverer of electricity, Ben Franklin, who said, quote, lost time is never found again, unquote. Keep those ideas sparking and stay charged. Hi there, over on All About Circuits, don't miss reading about our latest project that explains how to build an RMS detector for a wideband voltmeter and explore output ripple in a negative voltage charge pump using LT-SPICE.